Hello everybody and let's make a little um, review of match day 22 for the Premier League. Yes, we have three games uh, still to be played, two tomorrow and one on Monday, but we can actually save it some confidence. I think it was a good day for Liverpool, so I took the liberty of wearing my new Liverpool shirt. Uh, Liverpool had a 1-0 win over Brighton and Hove Albion. Nothing to really write home about. I mean, the winning goal came from a penalty on Mohamed Salah. It was an absolutely clear penalty. Um, he was pulled back for uh, at least five meters that he was running. So I think there is no big discussion about that one. They had some other chances as well, but you know, um, couldn't convert. I remember there was a header of Shakiri and uh, some other chances. Um, Brighton could probably hold the big attack at bay, but not more than that. And so, yeah, you get a win. You're back to winning ways after losing to City in the league uh, not too long ago. And then also uh, in the FA Cup, although I don't count that too much. And so Liverpool has at least temporarily another seven-point cushion. Puts the pressure on. City is also back to, you know, maybe the last few weeks were not as nice, although it... I always said it is not that bad that they lost those two games in a weird way. So uh, to keep the concentration on and you know get back to work, get back to winning ways. Um, uh, sounds all good to me. Uh, I'm probably not sure if I would have watched that game. I really wanted to watch uh, West Ham United against Arsenal, but we were out um, today, yesterday. I mean, I post this tomorrow. Uh, was an interesting game. I just jersey wise it does it didn't fit the bill to me uh not only does arsenal play in their horrible mint green jerseys i hate those first of all you don't see them well on the pitch and second they don't look anything like arsenal there is no color that was ever associated with arsenal why not have regular yellow away jerseys what's the problem why do we have to come up with new colors i absolutely hate it i absolutely hate this uh, mint green jersey. I think that the third jersey they have, the navy one with the red, that I can live more with because A, this happened before and B, uh, it fits within the color scheme. The mint green is just uh, an, an abomination. But uh, having said that, West Ham didn't look that well either. Yes, they played in their home jersey with white pants and so on, but I missed the sky blue. It's just a little bit there. Um, just didn't look right. But from what I could see, it was actually quite entertaining game in the first half uh, with chances galore. Of course, um, with Nas, Samir Nasri, long-term Arsenal player, made his comeback in the Premier League uh, in at West Ham. Was, of course, booed by uh, summarily. And I didn't get it, but I would imagine that Marko Nartovic also didn't get too much praise for his recent comments. Um, I really think him going to China would be one of the most stupidest thing that he had, has, has ever done. Yes, the money is good. Yes, you might win a title in China, but who cares about China? Uh, I think you have enough talent to play at one of the big boys in England or uh, for that matter uh, in uh, other leagues as well. So if you want to win silverware, um, stay put. You're having an amazing season uh, overall at West Ham. Don't go to China. I, uh, I'm also speaking personally. I think if Arnautovic goes to China, um, this will have a huge impact on the national team as well. So I really hope this is not going to happen. And yeah. My personal opinion. West Ham United actually took the lead uh, right after the halftime. The corner was almost well defended, but then Samin at had the ball, sees uh, Rice goes into the high corner, and Arsenal didn't have much chance. I mean, uh, there were two chances, but there was too little coming from Arsenal, which means West Ham is the winner, and that's another one. Arsenal is losing ground. And it's losing even more ground because the only thing that I saw live was uh, the second half of Chelsea Newcastle and that was not that great. Um, watching the first half, Pedro gave them an early lead, a wonderful ball from um, David Luiz, uh, Pedro shielding the ball with his body and uh, just uh, put it in. 
could have been a second added shortly thereafter, but then Newcastle got a little bit back into the game uh, and had their chances. But um, fortunately, Newcastle's uh, problem is that they are not making the chances. But after a corner, Clark, a uh, free header, very badly defended, uh, makes it 1-1, uh, which probably was an okay result at halftime. But in the second half, it was Chelsea moving forward, making pressure uh, without maybe too little pace, but at least it got uh, Southie going. And the winner by William came because Azar is at the edge of the box, five players rush to him, William is free, and then with uh, individual brilliance, um, puts it from his left foot on the right and a nice shot that I don't know how you can defend into the net via the the post. He had also the only this, the only other chance of note for Chelsea. Chelsea controlled the game. They didn't dominate, but they really controlled the game. Only at the end, there was a slight chance by Newcastle and uh, how they botched the final corner to not give them any chance um, Yeah, was symbolic for their, their performance. I'm really sad to see Newcastle in such trouble. Uh, the other games I didn't see any highlights of, but I'm gonna run through the scores. Uh, Burnley beats Fulham 2-1. Uh, that was, yeah, bottom of the table. Gives uh, Burnley a little bit of a cushion. Uh, Cardiff City, Huddersfield, uh, goalless draw. Huddersfield not getting anywhere, Cardiff also missing big points. Watford beating Crystal Palace after being down 2-1, after being down 1-0 at halftime. Uh, through an own goal I see, and then yeah, Cathcart uh, and Cleverly turned it around for Watford. And Leicester City is losing at home to Southampton. 1-2, uh, they were down 2-0 at halftime. Let's see who the goal scorers were, Ward Prowse and Long and Wilfried Didi. Puts it in. There was also a red card given to Southampton. Yeah, uh, let's see at the standings uh, for all these. I said Liverpool has the seven points advantage. We have tomorrow uh, Spurs against uh, United. That's a big game. And honestly, no matter how it ends, another reason why I'm very Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool will be happy. Uh, you basically have the Champions League place guaranteed, but no one really cares. You want to become the champion, um, and for that. It would be nice if Wolves can get a result at City. I just don't see it happening. But yeah, uh, Spurs is playing tomorrow against United. And in a weird way, if United wins, uh, yeah, Spurs is out of the title race, which in a way they are out. Yeah, it's hard to say. 51 points, it will be six points behind. But I don't quite see it. But you never know. Uh, if it ends in a draw, similarly, and if uh, Spurs should win, I mean, any time United loses makes Liverpool fan happy. Watford now is in seventh spot since Leicester is losing, so they're best of the rest. Arsenal, um, I'm skipping four through six. Uh, Chelsea is at 47 points, so and getting distance six point difference now to uh, Arsenal. And if United win tomorrow, if I'm not sure if I see them winning their level of points uh, with Arsenal. So yeah, Arsenal is a little bit in a shaky position. Uh, so we said Walt, uh, Watford and Leicester flip-flop in 7 and 8. West Ham and Wolves for now flip-flopped um, thanks to the win of West Ham. Uh, though, so we have Watford 32, Leicester 31, West Ham 31. It's it got to be so... Um, Disappointing that you know you are in seventh and eighth spots, but there's such a clear distance to United. I mean, the top six are the top six, and then everyone is very, very close together. Uh, so, Wolves and Everton still have to play with 29 and 27 points, but they can get right into this mix at 32 to 30 points. Um, Brighton, yeah, Bournemouth, Brighton, Bournemouth still has to play as well. Uh, Brighton 26, I think this is. The last one where I would say that it is not a relegation zone, but then Crystal Palace 22, Burnley made a jump up, Southampton made a jump, a jump up, Burnley 21, Southampton 19, Cardiff 19, they missed a chance, now Newcastle drops below the line, 18, Fulham 14, Huddersfield 11. Um, if you ask me, 
my personal preference I would be that the Newcastle and uh, Fulham stay in but I don't see it happening for Fulham and Newcastle ah, if they had a striker they would do much better so that's my thoughts on what happened in the Premier League today uh, I'm really going to look forward tomorrow to uh, Tottenham against Manchester United I really want to see uh, what Solskjaer if Solskjaer Mania is going to continue or if they finally run into a better team and uh, put down to <laughs> where we all think they belong that's for me the most intriguing part about that game and if Spurs really can get something going it will be the last game of Son uh, before he leaves for the Asian Cup that is a um, that might hurt um, Spurs a little bit because he has been in great great form although he still misses chances left and right let me think what you thought about today's games um, whether you agree with my assessments give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I'll talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.